All right, first off, I want to thank those who commented on yesterday's video, same subject. I honestly did some things wrong with this DC-powered attic fan conversion, which I'll show you here in a second. But essentially, this solar panel and wiring up here is dead. And what I did is I wired in a constant DC power source in my garage now. I did have the transformer and timer upstairs in the attic, and within one hour, that thing was getting hot. I took my laser thermometer up there, and there's just no freaking way you want to run electronics up in an attic. So what I did is I made a little attic fan kill switch box with a volt meter. So all you do is just turn that fan off, and it kills all the power that goes up into the attic. It can also monitor the voltage of what's going on too. And it's fused. And I'll talk about that in a second. But as you can see, it's using about 10.2 watts of power to run that DC brushless attic fan, 500 CFM. And this is the AC adapter that I'm using. It has a one amp output, 12 volt DC. It's plenty of power to run that fan. And we'll go upstairs in a second. But inside this box, there's a 5 amp ATO fuse. So if anything shorts out on that line upstairs, it'll burn it up. This is just showing you what I had up there in the attic. Not a good idea. Way too hot. But that 5 amp fuse, that's 12-2 landscaping wire that runs the whole length up to that DC fan upstairs, is protected by that 5 amp fuse. So if anything shorts out on that line or upstairs, it's going to pop that fuse. Alright, so let's go up here. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. And I want to show you the run that I did. So I'm just tucking that back in to eliminate the tripping hazard. And that runs underneath the little floor right there. And I'm just showing you the run there. It's about 30 feet. And that goes up to the attic fan. Right there. And I'm doing this in the morning because it does, it still gets hot up there. But uh, much, much cooler with this thing running. And I think that's what the problem was with my home. Is that my central air as you can see right there, is a backup to my window shaker solar powered units. But this thing really wasn't even freaking running. So it wasn't evacuating all the trapped air because that solar panel or the wiring up there was doinked up. So I just spliced it and diced it into the DC fan there. And as you can see, it's, it's chucking along pretty good. And that's the original fan at 3.4 amps, you know, 408 watts of power 12 hours a day that sucker runs all right so what i want to do now is do a compare and contrast of running that dc fan which is on my solar power circuit so 10.2 watts times 12 hours equals 0.122 kilowatt hours multiply that by 30 days in a month 3.66 and that honking ac fan is 147 kilowatt hours a month average american house 12 cents per kilowatt hour 44 cents for 1746. Now look at peak hour surcharge rates for this area. You know, the hottest part of the day, 43 cents per kilowatt hour. Now look at the savings. Numbers don't lie. All right, gonna wrap this video up. Thanks for the comments yesterday. You know, the funny thing about it, now that that DC attic fan is on my solar circuit, the actual cost to run it is zero. All right guys, hey, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Later.